Let's start with the canvas on which these masterpieces are painted. Western artists use foam with flat brushes and oil paint on, on canvas. Korean art, in contrast, uses long brushes, ink, and drawing paper for Ahanti to provide a clear material basis for the for their painted in the walls. Next, in Western painting, nature is often described as a challenge for mankind to overcome. In sharp contrast to this, Korean painting conveys the profound idea that humans uh, humans are an essential part of nature and creates a connection beyond simple compass. Western painting has many characteristics and among them, light and shade and perspective seems to be the biggest characteristic. Light and shade means light and shade away, and Western painting is characterized by emphasizing color, perspective, and contrast, making it easy to find clarity and details in paintings. The characteristic of Korean painting are that it does not express perspective and contrast well. Mm -hmm. Instead, Korean painting tends to emphasize that its own characteristics with lines and margins. Compared to Western painting, Korean painting does not use a variety of colors, but most paintings are several different use several different colors: blue, red, yellow, white, and black. Next, I'm going to talk about my about Korean traditional dress combo. Since I was six, my sister was 19 years old, and she studied and played Korean traditional instrument, and always wore hanbo when she had she was having the competition for the traditional instrument. Since that, I have interested in a dress called hanbo, so I had my hanbo since I was young. Hanbo is traditional Korean dress and combines great lines and a soft curve. Hanbo is the basic color of white in all dynasties. In other words, we wore the white Hanbo the most. Therefore, the basic Hanbo is mostly white, but the materials and colors can be different depending on the season or the social status. At the wedding, ordinary people also use colorful clothes and accessories worn by Iris the Pope. Humble has grown his day and Humble has developed over time. One of the characteristics of Humble in the Goryeo dynasty is the length of the dress. If the jewelry is short, the skirt length is long, and if the jewelry is long, the skirt length is going short. The Goryeo dynasty was followed by the Joseon dynasty. The Joseon dynasty was divided into early and late periods. One of the characteristics of Hanbo in the early Joseon dynasty is that the jewelry is long enough to cover the waist, and the shape is wide, covering the body completely, and the skirt worn away. The body is tied with a string from the waist. One of the characteristics of Hanbo in the late Joseon dynasty is that the sleeves are straight and narrow enough to stick to the arm. The skirt is worn slightly upward from the waistline, and when you wear a jewelry, the waistband of the skirt appears a little upward. And today, I wear Milton Sambo, and it's similar to the Sunday period. The two topics I mentioned earlier is related to my paintings. So that's why I talk about two different topics. I draw humble as my theme. My humble paintings emphasize various colors and contrast like Western painting. I use various colors to clear to see light and shadow and to express the fabric of humble as much as possible. But I try not to paint light and shadow for the background of my painting, just like Korean painting. So I'm trying to make my own art style using Korean painting and Western painting skills together. Is there something you are personally about? Is there a traditional way to do it? 
Is there a best way to do it? Is it possible that you can create your own style by combining two? Thank you.